The following pictures are of Kanika Jenkins, the night of the party. This is why I changed my major. I wondered why this young lady didn't get justice. In the pictures, I circled some things that I saw that were suspicious in the photos. So I went from business to criminal justice because of her. Rest in peace and long live justice for Kanika Jenkins. So, hi class. Hey, Dr. Rose. Hey, um, my fellow students. Um, this video is about why I changed my major. Time to tell my story. So, a young lady from Chicago, Illinois, named Kanika Jenkins, was found murdered in the Crown Plaza Hotel in Rosemont, Illinois, which is like the suburbs on the outskirts of the city of Chicago. And... The story goes that she was attending a party for a friend. She was with supposed to be friends. And at some point during the night, she went missing and was found the next day by hotel staff in the freezer, DOA, dead. So at first, I just wanted to let her rest. Because a lot of people were talking about it. It was big all over social media. But something just compelled me to take a look into what everybody was talking about. And we had a lot of social media, YouTube researchers with credentials in law and without that were looking into her case and finding many discrepancies. As y'all could see in the photos uh, her clothes, her pants were undone. Um, it was she was dirty, as if maybe she was drug about the floor. There were two lip glosses in the room. Her lips were bust; they were bruised and red. She had bruises and swelling on her feet, and to me, those are clear signs of foul play and some type of struggle that had ensued. So me at the time being a, a business major, I saw that if the law enforcement professionals aren't going to do their job and can't see that this was clearly some type of foul play, then she's not going to get any justice. And it just, her situation just spoke to me because once upon a time in my life, I was hanging out with the wrong crowds. I used to attend hotel parties and drink excessively and there are times where I can look back over my life and I know that I probably should be dead now but thank you to God and God's grace I'm here and I was compelled by her losing her life to change my major from business, which I am still an aspiring entrepreneur trying to get my business off the ground, as y'all also saw. Shameless plug, I knew image, check me out on YouTube, but I digress. I was compelled to change my major from business to criminal justice because I wanted to make a difference. There are so many facets of criminal justice that I could partake in to make a difference. As far as Kanika Jenkins' case would be concerned, I would have to go into law enforcement and become a detective to do, like, crime scene investigation, I guess that's what it would be called, so that in any other cases that may arise, I, in that position, would be able to give a young lady like Kanika and her family the justice that is so desired and so well deserved when i look at her pictures and when i listen to her friends talk about her she was a beautiful soul she was always nice always loving and i just think that it is a travesty that this has not not only that this has happened to her but that she hasn't gotten any justice
it's an injustice that she hasn't gotten any justice. So I changed my major. I am now a criminal justice major in my junior year at Allen University. And I'm, I'm honored to have, I don't, I don't know how to explain it because I'm a very spiritual person. So to have encountered such a spirit as Kanika Jenkins to help me find my purpose in life. It is my purpose to make a difference in this world for the positive because unfortunately, unlike Miss Kanika Jenkins, I'm here. So I will use I will use her the sacrifice of her life to make a difference. I'm very emotional about this. I, I feel so strongly about it. It's like I knew the young lady and I've, I've never met her in my life. I didn't even know she existed. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm a junior at Allen University. My major is criminal justice and my purpose is to make a positive impact in my community in the legal field or politics. I would like to continue my education after attaining my bachelor's degree in criminal justice. I haven't decided if I wanted to look into law, which is something that I've been interested in since a young girl. I've always been a debater. I love to get my point across. I love to get to the bottom of things. I love to, I just, I don't know, intellectual sparring, that's how I view lawyers. So that's something I would definitely be interested in. Political science being one of the people who make the laws because as I studied her case or the surroundings and, and things that were involved in her case, I noticed that some of the laws would back up and support some of these so-called conspiracy theories that people are bringing up. For instance, the organ harvesting, which is actually a big deal in the Chicago and Detroit area and certain laws in the Cook County, which is the county that is Chicago, that Chicago is in. The medical examiner does not have to ask for permission or even notify the family of body parts being taken from a dead body when they come to what should be the coroner's office, but they are the medical examiner there. So that's something that would support a claim of organ harvesting because by law, they could take whatever organs they would like to out of the body and nobody would know and they don't have to ask. So just those type of, those type of things, just I was in awe of in regard to Kanika Jenkins' case. And I was just compelled, I was strongly compelled to change my major and I found my purpose and I will be forever grateful to Miss Kanika Jenkins and she will always have a place in my heart. <sighs> so thank you guys for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video and y'all let me know what y'all think. Peace.